Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows and today I'm finally going to be showing you guys my hidden base spot from my solo series on the official servers. It's been very highly requested guys as you can see here. And there were a whole bunch more comments that I was way too lazy to go and find. I was getting asked like two or three times a day so I figured I may as well put the video out there. Now I know what some people are already waiting to comment. How can it be the most hidden base spot in the game if you have a video on it? I'm pretty confident in saying that if I didn't make this video, my base spot would have never been found and you guys will see that shortly. So I have absolutely no concerns about titling the video most hidden spot in the game. I think I deserve that one. So yeah, let's get into it. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, and here we are guys, the moment of truth, my hidden base location. So if I show this to you guys, I'm almost certain that no one actually knows where it is. If I didn't do the intro on the center map, I'm sure you probably wouldn't even know what map it's on it, to be honest, unless you recognize like the terrain and the mesh. I'm not in the mesh, don't worry. Uh, so this is my base spot. I kind of wanted to show it off before I actually show you where it is and how to get there. So this base spot, it's not going to be excellent for a lot of people, to be honest, because it is pretty difficult to actually get here. But if you do get here and fortify it up and actually have a transmit here, it's a really strong base spot, extremely well hidden. It's not going to be that way after I release the video. So here it is, guys. You can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. I have just put down a bunch of random stuff after I got wiped back in Relentless. So I've had this base spot up for about three months. If we check the tribe log, you'll see that my electrical junction box actually decayed on day 7,168. It's now day 7,732. So quite a while ago, and I haven't actually had power since, so my turrets have been down since that day, and my base still hasn't been raided or found. So I'm jumping to the conclusion that this is the most hidden base spot in the game. I've scouted this on every official server on PC, and not a single person is built here. Apologies if you are built here on a uh, console or something like that, unofficial, and I'm blowing up your spot and someone comes and wipes you, apologies. You can probably build it a lot better than I did and fit a lot more stuff. So that is it for the tour, guys. Let me actually show you where the base spot is and how to get there now. All right, so I've jumped back to single player, guys, just to kind of make it a little easier to actually show you the where the base spot is. If you did guess that it was on the center inside one of the underwater bubbles, congratulations, you're some kind of fucking genius. I don't know how you did it. Uh, but if you didn't guess that, that's where it is, guys. If you didn't know, on the center, there's two underwater bubbles. Once you go inside them, you can kind of just breathe and build. I'll show you one of them now, the one where the base spot actually is. So the one for the base spot, you're going to want to come to Tropical Island North, and the coordinates we're aiming for is 26.189.9. So I'll get my GPS out, I'll get my scuba gear out, which you will probably need to swim down there. Lazarus Chatter will work as well. Come to the back side of the island, or the east side of the island, whatever you want to say, and then just swim up towards the top of the map, and you'll find the bubble. It's like a giant force field thing under the water. Uh, we'll see it in just a moment. So swim out and then swim down. And there it is. You can kind of see the underwater bubble thing right here. Once you swim inside this, don't swim in from the top because you will fall straight down. Uh, so you want to swim straight down to the bottom and then swim in and you walk as you can see there. And here we are. Uh, so the way I discovered the actual hidden base spot is I was in here building with cliff platforms. Just kind of testing out the turret range inside of the underwater bubble just to kind of see what I can accomplish. It's a pretty fucking large area, this underwater bubble, and it would be quite easy to defend for a large tribe, but that's not why we're here. Enough about that. The actual hidden base spot, guys. So to get to it, you're going to need either grapples or a climbing pick. So what I'm going to do is just chuck on the admin command fly. And to get to the spot, what you want to do is you want to come to this like green ruin thing here, the mossy covered ruin. I'm pretty sure there's only one in this bubble as you can see there. So come here and what you're going to want to do, look up to the roof and my hidden base spot is directly above this thing here. So you're going to want to climb your pick up or grapple up the roof. Just keep on going up to the top. And my hidden base spot is located inside of the roof. As I said, most hidden base spot in the game fucking easily. So as you can see, the ruins are down there. The base spot is up here. So you'd keep on grappling. So right here is where I was kind of planning it out. This is my first iteration of the base. I think I fit a lot more stuff in here than I did on the actual official server. So yeah, pretty fucking big area, guys. You can fit a lot of stuff down, as you can see. It would be really hard to raid because there's no way a dino could actually get up here. So they're going to have to raid it on foot. Uh, and to do that, they're just going to have to grapple or climb and pick up like around this ledge, which they'll get shot by turrets. So it's pretty secure, guys. The only downside really is uh, actually getting here. If you don't have a transmitter, you I mean, you could use it, but it would be a real struggle. Your stuff would be secure, but it would be very time consuming to actually go back and get something from your vaults. 
Either way, I'll leave all that stuff up to you guys if you do decide to use it. And there it is guys, the previously most hidden spot in the game. Now for the last part of the video, I posted a little status update on my YouTube. So I asked a bunch of people for questions, arc related or not, and I said I'd answer a few of them at the end of this video, so that's what I'm going to do now. I don't really know what footage I'm going to put over the top of it, I don't really have anything recorded, I'll have to wait and see. But for now guys, let's jump over to the Q&A. Alright, let's go guys, Q&A time. Now we're going to be doing it over the footage of a very old raid that I did back in Legacy with Muntage. It relates to one of the questions later on in the Q&A, so I thought may as well do it over the background of that footage. Now first question guys, most important, I'm sure most people want to know the answer to this, why haven't I been uploading? So I posted an update in my Discord right when it happened. You can join the Discord from the link in the description if you're interested. So it's a mixture of a couple of things, the main one being that I was randomly kicked from my tribe and Discord, no explanation at all. I can only assume it's because I was inactive for quite a while, I didn't really play as often as I should have. So I spent the last week or so looking for a new tribe, but to be honest, I didn't really look nearly as hard as I should have been being extremely lazy, burnt out, all that kind of shit, so I wasn't in any kind of rush to get back into a tribe. Uh, I am in a tribe now though, not quite at the same stage as the previous tribe, which I think is a good thing for me. I wasn't really motivated to do anything in my old tribe, you probably could tell by the videos. Seeing as though there was no one online during my time zone, no one to play with, it was pretty fucking boring, and they pretty much had everything already when I joined, so I didn't really need to do anything. So with the new tribe, I can contribute to growth and bloodlines and all that shit and just focus on whatever I want. Probably breeding and PvP, I don't really know yet. So next question, uh, which was actually repeated quite a few times, how did I meet Montage and have we met IRL? So I met Montage around six years ago or something like that now. I was playing as part of a League of Legends team, semi-professional, we won a few tournaments, nothing too big, and he was a regular in the team speak that we all used to use at the time. We ended up becoming friends after trolling all these annoying cunts in the team speak that would legit never stop talking. They were so fucking noisy. And yeah, after that we just became friends. I've met him quite a few times IRL already, like four or five times. We actually went to Japan together back in 2015, that's actually when he met his wife. Now, next one, favorite tame. I don't really have one at the moment to be honest. I used to love turtles back in Legacy before they nerfed them. Uh, then obviously I was into patchy rhinos before they nerfed those. Right now it's probably rock golems or pteranodons, either one, both really good teams. So next question, do I still have contact with the forest savages? Now pretty niche question, some people might not even know who they are. For those of you guys that don't, that, this is the Alpha Tribe from my very first series. But yeah, I have no contact with any of them anymore. Real name, age, face reveal, all those kind of questions. Just mix them all together. Uh, so yeah, not really, not trying to keep it a secret or anything. I'm pretty sure I've answered it before. So my name is Travis, 24 years old. As for the face reveal, I answered it in my last q and I don't really have plans to add a face cam into my videos. If you are interested in seeing a photo of me, there's one on my Twitter. It's been there since I started YouTube, the link for that is in the description as well. When it comes to PvP, do I prefer to go by myself or with a group? Now, solo is definitely easier with editing, I'm sure any YouTuber will say that. You don't have to sift through a bunch of Discord audio to find the funny parts, which is can be quite tedious and time consuming, but PvPing and raiding with a group of people who know what they're doing is always good fun, so it depends what I'm trying to do. If I'm going for content, I'd probably rather go solo or duo, S small amount of people, but I'm just going for fun, I don't really mind going with a whole bunch of people, so long as they know what they're doing. So what's the biggest tip I can give to a solo player when they're starting out? Now the greatest tip for a solo player was actually told to me by someone else. So basically, you tame up an RG and you pump the stats into purely weight. When you want to log off for the night, you fill your RG with all your loot and fly it up to the skybox. And just jump off and die. That way, if you get offline raided, you can just tame up a Tyranodon, fly up there and get all your loot back. Uh, people don't tend to check the skybox above your base when they're raiding you, so it's a pretty good strategy. Obviously, Pelovias work just as well, but in my experience, RGs tend to have higher weight. Uh, so you can hide your metal and wood and all that kind of stuff in there as well if you want to save that, just in case you get wiped. Are there any other games in the future that I'm thinking about playing on the channel? I always tell myself, and I think I always tell you guys that I want to start playing other games on the channel. I think I've said it quite a few times now. The main problem I always run into is... I don't know how to format videos for other games. So for a while, I was really set on playing Rainbow Six Siege on the channel. It's a really fun game. I enjoyed it for the few hours that I did play it. 
but after doing research on YouTube, it seems like all the popular Siege videos are just funny moment styles with like four to five other people. They'll just make jokes, they'll throw subtitles on the screen, stuff like that. Unfortunately, I don't have enough funny friends to pull that off. I could try solo funny moments, but it wouldn't be the same. So yeah, I, again, I do want to play other games on the channel. Just don't know when it's going to happen. Favorite moment from all the videos so far? It's a really good question. And two videos come to mind when I think about my favorite moments so far. The first one was a really old video. It's kind of like mine and Montage's first raid, first big raid anyway. We raided a huge base on Herbie Island. It should actually be playing in the background right now if I managed to find it. Now we didn't really get much loot out of it at all, but I just remember it being so much fun and it's really what got me into trying to raid bigger and bigger bases. I think before this, I was just kind of raiding stone bases and stuff like that. And the other one has to be the time where I found a shitload of heavies inside a wooden base. Still can't believe that actually happened. I'll put the links to those two videos in the pinned comment maybe. So check those out if you haven't seen them already. That's actually such a good question guys. I'm so glad that someone actually commented that. It's got me thinking though. I'm curious to know what your guys' favorite moments are from all the videos so far. So go ahead and leave it in the comment section. What has your favorite video been over the past year and a half or so? or however long you've been watching the channel. And the last question, guys, pizza or hamburgers? Now, I don't really know. It's kind of hard to decide. I love a good burger, guys, but when it comes to burgers, I find that most places don't make them very well. It's pretty hard to find a really good burger, but you can't really go wrong with a pizza. Any place can fucking make a pizza. The other thing, though, is that the calories on both are extremely high, so I haven't really been eating either of them recently. All right, that's the end of the Q&A, guys. End of the video. I really like doing Q&As. I don't really know why. I've only done two of them in the past year and a half that I've been doing YouTube. It kind of makes me want to do a full Q&A video, like just a full 10 minutes of questions, and actually give people more time to think of questions instead of just an hour or so before I decided to make this video. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, enjoyed the Q&A, enjoyed the base bot. I hope you get some kind of use out of the base bot if you plan to use it. Let me know how it goes. But that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video.